Hey there, welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework's Video Solutions. Today's problem that comes in to us is a sixth grade word problem dealing with percents. So let's look at it. All right, it says, in a parking lot, 60% of the cars are four-door cars. If there are 75 four-door cars in the parking lot, how many cars are in the parking lot altogether? Okay, so it's dealing with percents. We know 60% of all the cars are four-door and that 75 of them are in fact four-door. So we wanna know how many altogether? All right, so let's look at some things that we need to know to solve this problem. It says 60%. So we need to know percent means per hundred. Super important to remember this. Percent means per hundred. So in this situation, it simply means that for every 100 cars in the lot, 60 of them are four door. That's what 60% means. So we can already tell that there are going to be more than 100 cars in this parking lot. How do we know that? Because if for every 100, there are 60 and we have 75 cars, 75 cars is greater than 60 cars. Therefore, the number, the total, will be greater than 100. All right? So let's write into words. I really think that it's very important to put down in words what this problem is asking for us. So it says that 60%, 60% are four door and 75 are four door and it wants to know how many all together right that is what it is saying so let's say we know 60 percent is 60 over 100 or 60 per every hundred and we know that there are 75 actual four-door cars. So we want to know 60% of what total or what number equals 75. We know we have 75. We know that 60% of them are four-door. So we just basically want to know 60% of what number is 75. So let's take this now and make a proportion. And when we make a proportion, we have two ratios that are set equal to one another. Remember a proportion, I'm just gonna remind you way over here. One half is equal to four eighths. Okay, that is a proportion. It is two ratios that are equivalent to one another. And you know you have a proportion when you multiply on the cross, on the diagonal here, the cross products, and you get the same number. Four times two is eight, and eight times one is also eight. So since our cross products are the same, we do have a proportion, all right? So we're gonna set up a proportion. And we're gonna use some of what we've already talked about. We're gonna say 60% means 60 for every 100 cars. Well, that's equal to, now here's the big dilemma. People usually say, well, do I put the 75 on top or do I put the 75 on the bottom? And the percent over 100 equals is over of that you learn in school is super confusing when you actually get to do your own homework. So let's think about this. There are 60 for every 100. We have 75 and we're looking for the total. In our percentage, 100 is the total, right? 60 out of every 100 cars. So then that means 75 is not the total. We have 75 out of what total? Okay, so that will help you if you ever need to set up these proportions. Think about which is your total and which is the number that you have. So we're going to cross multiply. 60 times n, we're just going to write as 60n, equals, let's not lose our equal sign. Without that, we don't have an equation. 100 times 75, which is 7,500, but we'll write it out so that you know what we're doing. So then 60n equals 7,500. Okay, so this is similar to fact families, or you may have learned cross multiply and divide as a process in school. Either way, if you know 60 times some number equals 7,500, your fact family would say that you find this number by saying 7,500 divided by 60. So we are gonna divide by 60, both sides. And I know that I've made a fraction here, but remember, fraction bars just mean division. They're little shorthand division symbols. So divide by 60, and you're left with n on the left side. Here we're gonna divide by 10, and that makes 750 divided by six, 
And when you do that division, you will get 125 total cars in the parking lot, which makes sense. We knew that 60 out of 100 would be four door and we had 75. So we knew the total would be over 100. The number we got, luckily, over 100. I hope that helped. There is another way to do this. We can write an equation for this, but in sixth grade, I know that the emphasis is on proportions. So I really do hope this helped. If you have questions, pop them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that we can solve your homework problem next.